and welcome to Danielle's desk. I am very excited because as you can see, I have my 2023 always fully booked book planner. I am excited. It came in a few days ago. And so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited. So I wanted to show you all the goods because there, um, is a limited amount that is available. Um, she posted on Instagram and then our personal Facebook, our team group Facebook page that she has like limited quantities. And so um, I wanted to hurry up and get this on here because I do believe that this one is available. I think it's the vertical floral, as you'll see, the black one, uh, which is kind of similar to this one that I have for this year, 2022, is out of stock, I think, in both vertical and horizontal. So let's get started i want to show you i haven't even looked at it like i'm looking at this with you together and as you can see this is how it came packaged i didn't touch anything other than take my order form out um i got two additional things um besides the actual planner and and so she gave us this card it just says 2023 is fully booked and you can use that as a journaling card and then on the back it just has a hello and a thank you from her and her husband and then um, these are tips on great unboxing. So I will make sure to tag her in my unboxing. I also, uh, she came out with some new things like washi tape. And so I think she had like maybe about ooh, maybe seven or so that she released. I didn't want to purchase all seven. Y'all know that I have a pretty large washi tape collection. So I just thought that this one spoke um, to me. It's, if you can see, it's very similar to the pattern. She also came out with two uh, bookmarks. And so I didn't get both of them. I only got one. I kind of regret that. I wish I would have gotten another one. If she happens to restock, then I'll pick up an, a second one. But I didn't really think that through. I think I was in so much of a rush to check out um, that I just kind of said, okay, I'm getting the washi tape, one bookmark, and then the planner. And then, you know, anyway. So this is the bookmark. It'll snap right in. I'll show you that in a moment. And then here is the beauty itself. I'm going to get the box out of the way so we can see. I just absolutely love the packaging. Um, she came out with new paper along with that uh, book box, which is very, very nice. As you can see, I kind of have my 2022 off to the side so we can kind of use this in comparison. Uh, if you're interested, if you do have this one and you want to compare it to 2023, I have that. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to try to save the paper. What? It is coming off so I can save the paper. I cannot believe it. I always seem to tear it up and everything. So I am going to put this paper off to the side because I want to keep that. And then as you can see, it is packaged so lovely and well protected. Um, I didn't have any issues with it getting here. There was no delays. Granted, I checked out within the first two or three minutes, if that. Um, so I was among the first batch that received it. Um, she is a Canadian shop, so it does come from Canada, but look how beautiful. So I opted for the floral, um, since I went with a darker one for 2023. So I was like, nope, I want something light. I want something vibrant instead of dark. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love the black, but I did go with this one. So it has, um, sort of like a copper, I'm going to say spine uh, or a coil to it. And it, it looks as though that it looks or feel the same, except this one was gold and this one is copper. And then the writing on this is all gold and the writing on here is rose gold. So I love this. I'm saying copper, but it's rose gold actually. Um, I love the pink elastic. I love the corners on it. I love the floral on the back it is plain and then it just has the little inkling design that is here so i really love it so we're going to open it up oh i love the inside cover so let's just do a quick comparison the inside cover on this one was just kind of plain it has some faint polka dots here and i just added a couple of bookish stickers here this one she went with a floral design so i really do love that she included stickers. She included stickers with the last one. I never used it. I never used the stickers. I, to be honest with you, I always forget about them. I, I really, really do. 
we have our name page and so the name page that's here um looks to be very similar i see some differences like it looks to be that maybe the font font is a little bit smaller or maybe just my eyes deceiving me um this is in bold this is not in bold yeah the font is it looks to be a little bit tinier um, it still has the same number of lines and she has little inkling design except here she had created by and she took off the created by there. So no like really, you know, like big, big, big changes. Um, this should be a year at a glance. And so this looks to be uh, very similar. It's hard for me to put both in frame, but um, it looks like on this one she added like a little excuse me, a little bar. This one, there is no bar. And then the font is different. This is bold. This one is not. So she's making, you know, like subtle changes um, just to kind of change it up. But pretty much the format and everything is very much the same. And so here for the important info, um, this is where you would put the star ratings. And so um, she took this and kind of brought it up. She reformatted it a little bit. I kind of wish that this space was a little bit bigger because as you can see, I use the quotes from A Curse So Dark, Dark and Lonely. This is a five-star read if you have not read it. And so I had to crunch like everything in there. So I wish that that space, because everyone really enjoys this quite a bit and we get a lot of people sharing and it's just really fun to see the coordinating quotes with the star ratings. We have our most anticipated Again, she had these colored blocks and these are not colored. She has the legend and then the conversion. But for the most part, all the information and everything is the exact same. So with the 2022 or 23 goals, uh, she did the boxes. And so it looks like the formatting of the boxes are the exact same, except this had polka dot and these are more lined. Again, she had the same bar, but for the most part, it is the same. For the A to Z challenge, which should be next. Oh no, actually it's not. So we have a reading checklist. So we do have a reading checklist that is in the 2022 and it is somewhere. Yeah, it's here. So really nothing um, like this different except there's, you know, she went with this whole like bar or heading and then but it's very much the same with the lines, the, the little boxes where you can check it off and things like that. And so um, that, so she kind of changed up the order a bit on it. And she gives you several pages of that. And then we have the open book cases, which are some of my favorite. I've seen some people do some pretty creative things with this. And so um, here are the open book cases and they're the exact same, except she's changed up the graphic on it. And so um, I really do love it. I just wish that there were more of it. She only gives you two pages. And as you can see, and I will be doing a flip through of this in January for you to see, but I'm having to have it flow over into my reading checklist. This is actually books that I've read that would have been a part of my book my bookshelves but i mean it's fine i just wish that she would have given us a couple of more pages on that and so now we have the book series um i'm gonna try to find that because things are a little bit out of order um so book series book series i know we have a book series somewhere in here we have the quotes here it is, book series. I never used it. I, I'm horrible about keeping track with book series. I really am. Uh, so this is the book series. It looks much of the same, except the font is different and she didn't go with the bold. Here we have the quotes. I absolutely never use the quotes and they're much of the same. Actually, I despise these pages so much because I feel like it's a wasted space. Nothing against her or anything like that. People use these pages. I just don't. Wish list, there is wish list in here, and it is much of the same. Uh, movie tracker, um, I think that we have a movie tracker in here, or maybe I'm wrong. Five star, it may be new. Oh, yeah, it's in here, but I have it. 
so here and i have it paper clipped because i don't use it this is the movie tracker so it is the same in tv i just don't use it like i don't i don't track movies i rarely watch movies in tv so yeah um so that's that but if you do track your movies and your episodes and your seasons this is a good place to do it five star reads this is the same as in this one i do utilize that um and then these are the favorites so it's so funny because here let me let me show you like it looks as though the favorite word is missing so I'm going to turn to my favorite. So if you look here, it says favorite, and that's how they spell favorite in Canadian, but favorite books of 2022, here it just has of 2023. So I wonder if that is a misprint of some kind uh, or what, or she's, you know, meant to do that. I may take some letters and just write out favorite or my favorite of 2023 I I don't know that's very odd I'm thinking that that may be a misprint because here we have favorite books of 2022 so the only difference that I'm seeing thus far is she gives you instructions how to record your picks here and here she didn't she just says fill in each book with your favorite read of that month so she gives more of a clarification that is on there um, for that and here we have the a to z uh which i these are super cute i love the the a to z so let me find the a to z here whoops this is the a to z in this so i cover my letters with um these are stickers from peanut butter taco so uh i may not cover them because they they actually may be smaller because she went up on the font with these letters so it's fine she actually added some little books here so i do love that that you can color but again it's much of the same she does give the little directions here it's still you know the same um then she does the now this is very different in the formatting not the challenge itself but in the formatting it says 2023 fully uh, booked reading challenge and I do like this one better and I think that she decided to change it up because you can actually if you wanted to print out the book uh, you can do that or if you wanted to color the book you could so as you can see it is very different this is the challenge that we had before it was just a list with the lines and then I would coordinate um, the uh, genre color from my legend so as you can see this format has kind of gone away unfortunately i'm not that person that sits and prints out the covers of the books i think that they're beautiful i love it when people do and definitely i am not artistic by any means so i am going to probably just end up writing it in with my horrible handwriting to be honest with you but i do love this uh, she also changed the on the cover challenge. She did much of the same where you can print out the book. Um, and I'll show you my on the cover. This is the on the cover challenge. As you can see, it is very, very different than it was before. Um, and then this is the reading rainbow, which we had. Um, these are two separate pages now that she's doing the boxes. And then she even has a bonus. We didn't have a bonus on here. So I do like it. I just, it's going to be quite plain with me because I'm not that artistic. So the genre, oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. So these are the on the cover. Okay, yes. And then reading rainbow. Yes, I'm sorry. And then this is the genre. This is the genre up at the top. So now this one is very similar to this one. So she decided to keep that the same. And then read through the ages challenge is very new. We don't have that. Um, so that will kind of take me outside of my box, which not necessarily. I do love historical fiction, but to maybe read more like before 1869. Like I don't think that I've read any books before 1869, but anyway so uh around the world um we had this in the other one i did not complete this maybe in 2023 i will but i i didn't complete it 
and then this is something very different i don't think that we have a goal tracker at all and so this is new so you're able to put what your goals will be which i already know my goal will be 150 the same as this year i always tend to go over a little bit and i'm expected to go over if I stay on track in the month of December to go over 150, but 150 is probably the most that I would that I would want to set my goal at. So this is a new page. Um, the Battle of the Books. I did not do the Battle of the Books in this planner. I did do the Battle of the Books with Creating and Co. So I kind of picked and choose. I mean, I could have done it with this one. It's no big deal. All you're literally doing is reading books that you always would read but you're you know picking your favorites among um and i cannot find the battle of the books maybe we didn't have a battle of the books maybe i dreamt that no we don't have a battle of the books so this is new okay so battle of the books is new so i do love it so maybe i'll end up getting to it or maybe i'll just copy you know the same just like do one battle of the books but use it for both creating and co and for for this one uh, this is a legend if you uh, love to do a key. I know she used to do these herself, like draw them out. As you can see, she did that. Um, so if you like like keeping track and like, like seeing it in picture form, uh, this would be great. And so um, these are the genres read in 2023. These are the pages read if you want to do a lined graph. And then she gives you a bunch of dot grid. And so they're all at the front. So I'm going to flip through and now show you how the dividers look. And so this is the exact same. I think the fonts is the only thing that I think is quite different. I'm going to uh, go to January, which I covered up January. With, so let's just go to February because I covered that up. Okay. So this is February. Yeah, the font is different. Um, this looks like a more like a typewriter type font. Um, and so, and she also did the bold and she went away from the bold, which I'm totally fine with. It doesn't matter, but the idea, the same format um, is the same. Books to read. This page is, um, a, is different. And I'll show you that one while I'm here in February. And so again, she changed the font, uh, but it still says the same month, year, author, title. Again, she didn't go with the bold. And then with the new releases, uh, the exact same thing, except she took away the date and the title. I don't know why she did that, but she took away that. Uh, so that's kind of like the only difference that I can see with that. As far as the uh, weekly pages is concerned, the format is much of the same. She kept the amount read at the bottom. Uh, she looks like she added some flags. So as you can see, there's a flag here where she normally wouldn't have added one here. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that I can see is that if I'm not going with this cranberry color, it can interfere because I do cover up these headers with washi tape. So that, I think that's the only thing, like say for instance, I went with a purple spread and I didn't have that cranberry in there, then I can see it kind of conflicting, you know, a bit. But other than that, the format and everything is still the same. So um, let's move into the back pages for the month. And then we have the bookish haul. Uh, this is the same except the font. And then it looks like she's added a banner and then a graphic, uh, some a book graphic. So let me turn there so you can see that. Oh, the banner was still there, except she had the month. So she just took out the month and then just added maybe some books. And then the reading wrap up is the same except the font. Uh, and then, but the, the same information is there, which I'm glad because I do like the reading stat information. She gives you some dot grid and then some lined paper, and then you move into the next month. So now we'll, we'll go through each month until we get to the quarterly, which should be after March. So you can see how things go. So she went with the traditional, uh, pink, uh, for February. And then here is March between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. Love that. This is something very different. Uh, and here is the quarterly. All right, so the quarterly looks a little bit different. So I'll go to the quarterly, and I don't even think I did my quarterly. Uh, oh yeah, I did. One of these quarters I didn't do, uh, and we'll discuss that in a minute because I do want to talk about this for a minute. Um, 
So as you can see, the font is different. She had the current loves, which I'm kind of, let's see, she has Arthur character, TV show, movie, music. She took out food, she took out beverage, and she took out book. So, but she moved book up to like standout read. So that took care of that. So for the most part, she took out food and beverage. Uh, the genre breakdown is still the same. The reading goal is still the same. The stats are still the same. And then for the check-in, the memorable moments, the goal, everything else is still the same. So she's only made like slight changes, you know, in here. So this is April, really bright, very, very bright. Here is May. Really love the purple. Really, I think that's beautiful. I mean, I like what she's done. I'm going to try my best to coordinate my stickers and everything for that. This is June. You know, June is when we travel and we take a vacation. Here is July. I mean, I'm really loving what she's done with these monthlies. Oh, and also I want to show you the font on the tabs have changed as well. I'm going to try to, it's going to be flipped around, but if you can see, uh, it's more of that same font she continued on with that. So I did notice that as well. Here is August, Life Happens Book Help. So it's very similar uh, to the cover. We have September. Oh, I love this. Love this right here. Really pretty. Love that. Love the green. Love that, you know, she brought in green. And then, oh, this is cute. We're all made of stories. Really like that. Love what she's done with the orange. I'm really loving the artwork that she's done. I, 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 I see it evolving. Like, I really love it. And then lastly, we have December. Oh, beautiful. I love this. Really, really pretty. It's more of a cranberry. It's not a red. I'm not sure how it's picking up on camera. And so here are the reviews. Reviews are just the same, except that she's added a box. I don't re use the reviews because I do all my reviews electronically. But um, here is a sample of the reviews. So she put before reviews, like up here so there's none of that she gives you a box maybe for the you can take a picture of that book she has a title author started finish star um she took out oh she still has posted she just moved some things around and she made the font a little bit smaller so again i don't i don't use these pages so it's completely fine um she does have a little coloring page i know she has various coloring pages like this one is it i haven't even colored i don't even know if i'll get to coloring this this year um i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna talk about that in a minute when i'm done with the review um and then on the back should be the summaries and everything and so she gives you a bunch of dot grid after that maybe you want to put some challenges she gives you some lines so i do love that she gives you a lot of paper and everything so there's no summary of any kind that i can see um here it is okay this is the quarterly we already looked at that so this is the um your favorites and everything. So I'm gonna turn all the way to the back on mine and find the page so you can see this. So the quarterly book reviews. Okay, so I'm trying to find it. Okay, so the difference is, is that, and remember we saw these, this at the beginning, this was at the back of mine. Um, though that line paper and all that she put that in the back so it, it really doesn't matter but here are the wrap-ups so again the font is different she did book series standalone author book cover character setting so everything is the same you have your top 10 then you have your reading stats and then over here on this side you have now this is different she has, uh, in the old one, things I learned this year. This is most anticipated releases. I do love that. And then we have um, memorable moments. So there you go. So some not big changes I can tell or anything, just little subtle ones. We do still get the pocket. I do love this pretty burgundy cranberry color. Uh, we got pockets um, on the back of this one too. So I don't 
necessarily use anything in there but it is there for you and so um i'm loving i mean I, I use the planner like i love her planner i do um i'm just one person and my critiques or opinions are just mine that doesn't mean it's you know someone else may absolutely love certain things and um you know totally different but for the most part i absolutely love it. it's a 10 out of 10 she put her heart and soul into this and i always respect that i do want to quickly talk to you about this one i do have several weeks that are missing specifically at the beginning of the um, month uh, because this planner showed up late um, and so I never really went back and backed plan um, so there's several weeks and I went back and forth on whether or not I was going to go through this and plan and I decided that I am not um, I'm not taking the time off that I normally would take off to do this and I don't want to get behind. Another month is May. I have nothing for May. So May is completely like nothing. Um, this was during a time when I was trans transitioning um, to my other job. And um, I wasn't doing a, a lot of planning. So I ultimately decided not to go back and back plan. I also decided not to go back and color in any pages. Uh, it is what it is. Um, me being a perfectionist in this way kind of bothers me because my other planners are complete. But I don't want to stress myself out on making sure that everything is absolutely perfect with this because it's not going to be. And I want to move forward. And I won't ever, you know, move forward with, you know, setting up this one if I'm spending weeks and weeks trying to complete this one. So it is what it is but i do want to give an update i will have all of the information linked below on this one uh for you and like i said if you are interested you need to grab it now and she does not restock i do want to show you the um the bookmark in there she is not going to restock it is not happening um you would have to wait and pre-order next year so if you are thinking about this you absolutely need to grab it asap like i said i do not have a code no one has a code for her she doesn't need a code but um it's at a good good price i think it's like 36 dollars or something uh but this is how the bookmark it actually sticks out pretty far i didn't realize it stuck out so far i guess i could move it down probably have it too high yeah so if i moved it down here it would stick out so let's yeah let's move it let's see still sticks out pretty far but anyway that's how the bookmark looks she has one that's darker for the other version it's more it's a black um i i think that all the bookmarks in the washi tapes are like completely gone i don't think that there is um anything that is remaining of that it is only the planners that is available so if you have any questions or anything like that please leave your questions down below or you're welcome to find me on instagram and send me a dm i'm very active and i'm very responsive so thank you so much for joining me here at daniel's desk if you enjoyed seeing the 2023 always fully booked flip through please give the video a thumbs up if you would like to see more content from me consider subscribing and i hope that you have a wonderful day bye